Church of the Holy Ghost celebrates its 2021 May 9th celebration. We unpack the registration process and we share some exciting highlights of the program. Reporting live from Johannesburg, my name is Matuli Jele. Uptula, Muraro, Khoto, and peace be unto you all. Welcome to the May 9th news. The 9th of May is a prominent day in the calendar of the Church of the Holy Ghost. As this is the date the first leader of the church, Um Alisi, received his calling into ministry. Following an impactful spiritual conference in March, there is great excitement around this year's May 9th celebration. This celebration will be held from the 8th to the 9th of May in Johannesburg. With me today, I have Mr. Mabaso and Mr. Nguinda, who will unpack the details around this year's event. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you, Matuli. There is so much excitement about the upcoming celebrations. It is clear that the 9th of May is a very special day in the calendar of the Church of the Holy Ghost. Mr. Mabaso, kindly share with us and the viewers why this day is so important. Thank you, Matuli. First of all, thank you for such a warm welcome. And thank you to the church for allowing us an opportunity to serve them through organizing this event. Uh, you are absolutely correct. Uh, the 9th of May is a very special day in the calendar of the church. As you pointed out earlier, this is the day where the first leader of the church received his calling into ministry. That happened 105 years ago, and it was to be that a year later from that day of the event, the entire church received the gift of the Holy Spirit. So we celebrate this day looking back at the gift of leadership and the gift of the Holy Spirit that we received 105 years ago. 105 years, what a great milestone. Please take us into the vision and the theme around this year's celebration and what makes it a not to be missed event. 105 years indeed, Matuli, and that was uh, way before you and I were even conceived as an idea in this world. So, uh, as you would know, we've just come out of the spiritual conference uh, in March, uh, which was themed in Dumiswa and Dabin. Given that and the fact that we are thankful to God for this gift of leadership and the gift of the Holy Spirit, uh, which was given to us 105 years ago, we have uh, found it fitting to dub this celebration in Dumiswa Yokbonga, uh, which is an indication of how thankful the church is for these two gifts uh, that God has bestowed unto the church. We have learned that the celebration will take place over two days. Share with the viewers the structure for this weekend. So Matuli, um, with the mandate that we were given to put together this event, we realized that the church has so much to be thankful for, and we therefore couldn't fit everything into one segment. And uh, as per the plan, uh, the celebrations will be structured over three segments, uh, with the first segment being a Sabbath service, a special one at that where we will have His Grace lead us into the Word. Uh, the segment is planned to start at 10 uh, in the morning and end at 2 in the afternoon. Thereafter, Abazalani are encouraged to go home and uh, get into their black tie attires and attend an evening event which will be themed the Night of Song and Dance. Particularly in this uh, segment of the celebrations, we will be celebrating the gift of the hymns that were not composed by a human being, but were provided to us as a church by the Holy Spirit. How we structured it is, it will be a seamless production of CHG hymns uh, with a special emphasis on providing context and history around how those hymns came about and why the Holy Spirit pre pre presented those hymns to the church. We have a very special guest for that particular segment, uh, Mr. Mbuso Koza, who will be sharing with us and linking how the CHG hymns link with the theme of African music, which goes to show that when the Holy Spirit visited us, it was indeed intended for uh, an African person. And uh, we are forever thankful and grateful for that. We also have uh, Mr. Churchill Silatole, who will be taking us through as a church uh, uh, the importance of worship in our spiritual life and why it is critical that when you worship, you worship uh, with an understanding of where the worship is going. So it will be a very packed uh, evening where Abba Zarani will also get an opportunity to sort of partake in uh, uh, the hymns uh, in the manner that will, they will be arranged and the entire production. 
Um, thereafter, on Sunday, we have a very special guest, by the way, uh, for, for that segment as well, uh, in Miss Ndod Lagada, who will be helping us celebrate as we go through the tradition of exchanging gifts as a church. You will know that uh, no mainline goes without uh, gifts being exchanged in this church, particularly to the members of family, for those that are watching. Um, so we look forward to that and uh, also breaking bread together as a church. Uh, we have something very special pre prepared for the church uh, insofar as breaking bread together is concerned. We will also be having a very intimate conversation with His Grace where we'll be looking into uh, the previous leaders of the church and the current leader in terms of uh, leadership uh, 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 traits that we would have identified uh, that will be shared with the church in a conversation. The purpose of that is to provide uh, members of the church with an opportunity to reflect on those leadership traits and possibly apply them in our daily lives. Uh, uh, you will know that uh, most of the church members are leaders in, in various spaces, whether it's corporate, uh, whether it's in a community, in a family setup. We all ought to take lessons from these leadership traits and apply them in our daily lives. Uh, that will be led by uh, Dr. Reverend Mulebazi, whom we all know is a very uh, renowned uh, public speaker. So it will be an exciting segment and Abba Zarani will also be afforded an opportunity to participate through questions uh, and answers in the conversation. So it is, it is a very packed program and we look forward to it. I personally am excited for this year's 105th anniversary of May 9. Gentlemen, now how does one secure a place at this year's event? Due to the limitations imposed upon us by COVID regulations, we've unfortunately had to limit the number of people that can attend at the venue in Johannesburg to 250. What that means then is there will be quite a few uh, Abazalwane that will not be able to join us at the venue. What we encourage the congregation to do is to set up satellite viewing venues across all branches where they will join us remotely uh, through our YouTube and Facebook channels. Uh, for those that will be coming up to Johannesburg, we've carved out a very transparent and clear process for registration and qualifying to be a part of the 250. The process starts off with us allocating a set number of seats per branch, uh, which will ensure that the people that attend within the 250 represent fully uh, the national uh, branches across the church. Uh, uh, Mr. Quinda will take us through the details around how does one qualify to be a part of the 250 that will be in Johannesburg? So the registration pr process is quite simple. Uh, you can register on the app, and if you do not have a smartphone, you can use the Anatomy website to register for the event. The link is on the screen. So starting from downloading the app, you would go to your app store, and you search for the Anatomy app. You download the, download the application, and you'd search for the church. So on the search of the church, you type in Church of the Holy Ghost, and it will pop up the church, our church. And you click on that, and it will and and it will take you to a screen where you'll enter your details. Once you have been onboarded and you have downloaded the app on your device, you will just simply locate the app, then open it. So the password that has been sent to you, you would use to log in using your, your email address as your username as you've seen so you just simply put in your email address and your 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 password which you have received via email and then you would log in once you've logged in you would scroll to calendar you click on calendar and you would go on to mail then you click on the 8th of May. Once you've done that, you would see it shows you the events of, of May 9 celebration. You would click on the event and you would have these options. So what you do then is you confirm attendance. So once you click on confirm attendance, you need edit the list of applicants for the event. Mr. Mabaso, given the nature of the celebration, I get the sense that a dress code is required for the occasion. What are we expected? Yeah, so um, it will be the first of its kind event in the church and therefore even our dress code needs to show that we are in celebratory mode. So for the Sabbath service, uh, Abba Zalani are encouraged to 
uh, uh, come dressed in their best uh, Sabbath attires. Uh, that will be your formal, uh, as you would have it. Uh, and, and, and for the evening uh, of song and dance, Abazalone are encouraged to come dressed in a black tie uh, attire. Uh, it will be an elegant, exclusive event as per the brief by His Grace. And therefore, we encourage black tie uh, and, and Nabo Mama, they need to make sure that their heels are on fleek for this particular one. And then for the Sunday uh, celebrations, we, we do uh, expect to tell Mama, be shy, I'm a fascinator, Zwabo. Your Sunday best dresses and your best suit needs to come out on the day. So it is uh, the entire two, three segments uh, are to be um, uh, celebrations in elegance, and, uh, and we expect that the dress code matches that. So, in summary, for the Sabbath day, it's your normal Sabbath um, uh, formal. For the evening event, it's black tie event, and for the Sunday, it's your Sunday best uh, with fascinators and the works for Abu Mam. Matuli, much as we are excited about this event, we also do know that the success of it lies heavily on Abazalwane partnering with us in making it happen. Uh, we encourage Abazalwane to uh, uh, assist with contributions in making this a reality. And even though those that will not be attending in person are encouraged uh, to still continue with contributions and therefore the success of it relies heavily on Abazalane coming to the party with regards to contributions to make it happen. Thank you. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us and sharing the details around this year's May 9th celebration. Thank you. I'm crossing fingers that I'm one of the 250 applicants who will be at the venue. I am Atuli Kale and you're watching May 9 News.